Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I'm bringing you from our friends at Scrap and Eek more new chipboard. These are grapevine chipboards in that grapevine collection. So first we have got, this is grapevine wreaths and leaves. And you can see this is sort of a C-shaped wreath and then a corner um, embellishment there. And then we've also got grapevine leaves and vines, which is a whole collection of some borders. And this one is grapevine oval frame chipboard. And this one is the grapevine rectangle chipboard frame. So let me get right in and show you what we have done with these. So this, oops, <laughs> this is a page I did using just the chipboard, just naked, just as it is. Um, I love that beautiful um, ivory or vanilla color of it, if you will. And this particular paper pack that I used is the Country Blooms paper pack from Hot Off the Press. Um, I also use the Country Blooms Violet uh, flowers, and these are from 49 in Market. Um, as you can see, I did some tearing here, so I just started off with my page, and then I cut down um, a 12 by 12 piece that had burlap on it, and so I went ahead and cut that down, and this is about a 10, started off with like a 10 inch square of that burlap, tore it in half, and then just glued that here, and that became kind of my base. And then here I tore all four edges of the green paper and that looks to be about, probably I should have measured this, about six inches by eight inches. Um, and then just curled up those little torn edges a little bit. I like to get that so you can see what's on the reverse side of the paper. And it just gives a little added element of distress. Just makes it look a little more worn looking. And another little thing is you can also make a little tear in that, just a tiny little tear, and then fold back that tear. It gives you a little notch out. Um, I also matted my six by four inch photo with purple cardstock. I should mention you can get all of these things at paperwishes.com. And of course, the little greeting, you are the best, that comes as a cutout sheet from the paper pack from the Country Blooms paper pack. And then the little happy sticker down here I actually to, took from, these are actually uh, 500, here we go, 500 script greeting dazzle stickers. And I usually use these for card making, but I love just that white one right there, and I found that it said happy birthday on there, so I just pulled that one off and used the happy. Just repurposing those for scrapbooking. Okay, so let me show you now one that I did where I actually colored the chipboard. Oh wait. Back up, I should mention that I used for this page, this is the grapevine and leaves. So what I did with this is I used this corner piece right here and I put it right here, upside down. And then I took a couple of these individual leaves and I just glued them here and here. I glued my flowers here and then some leaves sort of extending from the flowers. So don't forget to use those individual little leaves. All right, now we can go forward. On this card, I used that C-shaped wreath right here but I actually colored my chipboard. Um, and for the background papers, um, this is Abundant Florals paper pack, um, for also from Hot Off the Press. So I covered my card. This card is six and a half by five and a half inches. You can get packs of them at uh, Paper Wishes. And what I did was I col covered it with one of the dark burgundy um, papers from that paper pack, then cut a smaller ivory piece, a little bit smaller, and then also cut this great sort of purpley burgundy color. Um, it's got this great sort of uh, diamond pattern on the background. It's very distressed. So I cut that even smaller and then tore that edge right there. Um, now for coloring this piece right here, um, I just used a couple of ink pads. For this, I used this brand new one at Paper Wishes. This is Harmony Water Reactive Dye Ink in Spring Meadow. So that's the base of that color. Um, I'm gonna show you on the next card just how to color those. There's some tricks I'll show you. Um, I didn't use the water reactive properties on this, but I just really love that color. And then finally on this for the uh, darker elements, because I wanted to pretty much get some green color down on it, and then I wanted some darker green to kind of bring forth some of that detail. And this is Pine Tree, also it's a Harmony. And then for my little um, grapes, 
I did, this is also another new one. This is Pale Fig. Once again, didn't use the water reactive properties. Wanted it for the color. Um, so this is Pale Fig and I did um, the uh, grape, little bunches of grapes. And of course I used my blender brushes for this. And I'll show you some tricks there, how to use those. And then um, I used the damask wine, just a little bit extra for some depth on those. Also, once again, used my script greening dazzles. Used the hello one in this gold color. Let's see, it's right here. Maybe it's here. It's in this pack somewhere. All right, so let's take a look. This next one I used, uh, made using this oval. So what I started off with, I took my base card and I covered it with pastel green card stock. Then I took this great wood, chipped white wood paper. And the other side is dark wood. Um, and I used that as really flaky white paint because I wanted to kind of get that country vineyard feel to that. And I'm gonna just put a little bit of the same pale fig color. I'm using one of my blender brushes here and I wanna put a little bit this on the edge. And I should mention, that this paper pack is wood textures, wood and textures paper pack from Hot Off the Press. And as I said, all of these supplies are available at paperwishes.com. And if you look below this video, if you're watching us on our um, vlog page, if you look below the video, you're gonna see a little note there for a gallery link. And if you click on the gallery link, you'll see color photos of all these projects and you also see supply lists when you click on the photos. And if you're watching this on YouTube, just click on the link within the YouTube page and you will find that same gallery photo. All right, there we go. So I've got my green there. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of, this is uh, Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue, our favorite glue to use. Because it just doesn't take much. I had a question from a viewer a few days ago and asked, oh, is that like the amount of glue I normally use um, when making my cards? Because it doesn't look like much. And yes, I, that's what I do. You really don't need a lot of glue and if you use a lot of glue if you try to cover it with liquid glue you get those little bumpies um, and I just use a tiny little bit you know that's not going to go anywhere even in mailing but that was a great question um, let's see so next I use this oval chipboard and I'm going to show you here how I did some coloring on that I've got an extra little piece here I've got this piece here and this piece right here and how did I do my coloring so I've got my craft mat there we go I get my little piece now when coloring I'm going to start with just this medium blender brush and we're going back to the spring meadow and really the trick here is to kind of put my finger over the grapes or even better yet I'm just going to take a post-it note. I'm going to put the post-it note right over that grape bunch just to kind of mask it a little bit. But I'm also going to hold this down right here. The thing is you've got these, all these little tendrils and things like that. And chipboard is pretty delicate. So when you're coloring it, um, I'm using kind of a brush blot method here. I'm kind of going like this. I'm not doing any scrubbing with that because you don't want these little pieces to break off. So I'm not even going to be blotting my ink. Sometimes when I'm doing it direct to paper, I will do this and then blot and then apply. But because this is chipboard and I just want to get that color all over those tendrils, I'm not really worried about any blotches or anything. All right. There we go. There we go. Now when I lift up this post-it, I'm going to have a little bit of a notch here that's not so pretty that you can see there. So I'm going to blend that out because that was masking that. All right, so now we're gonna take, this is the pine tree color, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that using that same brush, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this darker color right on those leaves. 
and because I'm not getting near those tendrils, I can be a little bit rougher and do a little bit of that brush on there. Okay, you can see that difference there. You got two colors going on. All right. So then for, and then I'm just gonna use a baby wipe to clean off my brushes. I get questions about that. When I'm in a hurry, I just go ahead and use a baby wipe. And then when I'm done here, I'll use soap and water and clean those just like a regular paintbrush. Okay, so now for the grapes, I'm going to use the pale fig. There we go. Once again, just holding that right there. And I'm just applying a little bit of that pale fig right to there, right over those grapes. And if I feel like, oh, I don't want to get into those leaves, I'm just going to use that as a mask. There we go. And now we're going to go to the dark purple. This is the Damask wine, or Damson wine. I don't know why I said Damask. Damson wine. Read, Lene. All right. And we're going to take that and just put a little bit of that along the edge there. There we go. All right, so now we're ready to glue. So we've got our large oval here. And I'm just going to put just some dots of glue on all the big pieces, all the big backs of the leaves. And then I just have to put little bits on each of those ovals and I'm just kind of going back and forth on them. All right, and putting that right there on the center. Right, now I've got this one, and I've got this one right here. I already colored, I'm gonna do that. And this one is gonna go right up here, because that bare top left corner just needs a little something. And then right here, I'm going to go ahead and overlap one piece of chipboard right over the other. Like this. And my grape, my gra I wanted to put my grapes going up like this. Grapes hang down, right? Okay, so we're going to put it right there. And I've also got a little purple um, cutting die. This is the cutting die. So glad we're friends. This is from Creative Expressions, Mini Expressions. Just cut that out of pastel lavender cardstock. It's from the same pastel cardstock that the green is from. But before I do that, I want to add a little bit of dark that Damson wine. And I'm going to just add a little bit of that along that bottom edge of each one of those words. Just to darken it up a little bit, make it pop a little bit more. Okay. And that's going to go right there. Normally, I would like to use my um, and you could really use glue stick. You could use any kind of adhesive on this. Okay, and I can even tuck this under one of those leaves a little bit. There we go. Then. I've got these great little pixie petals. This is the twilight color. It's a nice sort of lavender periwinkle color. And I've got four of those right here. And I'm just going to layer here. Oops, I didn't want to go there. And notice I'm just putting a very small amount of glue on there because it doesn't need much to attach here. I'm going to put one up here. One up here. I'm going to move that first one over. Change my mind. There we go. All right. There you have it. All done. It lets it dry about 10 minutes and then it can go right in the mail. And I like it because it has some dimension on it, but it is still very flat and very mailable. Okay. Um, so we have a wonderful money saver on all of these grapevine chipboard. Notice I didn't use any of them in a particular wine theme or anything. I just 
you know, you, it just, if you don't have any vineyard pictures, it doesn't matter. This picture's in the garden, works great with scrapbooking. But we have a great money saver. And um, if you're watching us on our vlog page, the money saver is to the right. You'll see a picture of that. You click on that, it'll take you to the money saver page. And if you're watching us on YouTube, just look below the video in the description box. You'll see links to our vlog page. You'll also see links to um, the Money Saver and also to paperwishes.com where you can find lots more goodies to play with. So thanks for joining me today and I will see you next time.